Yeah, uh, I'm the friend of Mark, and I suppose I'm the cultural go-between between him and the Asian community, and I suppose I'm giving him a bit of a insight into what it is he has to do in order to be palatable for his future father-in-law. Anything that's about the British Asian experience, I really um, enjoy those films just because, um, you know, having been brought up in this country, you like to be exposed to anything literature or films, anything else that bridges your Britishness to your Asianness. And this is a film that I think does it really well. Yeah, it was, uh, just a lovely man. And we just sort of had a gab about the part in the film and the types of films he wants to make and the types of films that he likes and stuff like that. And it's similar to the type of films I'd like to be a part of and the type of films I want to make as well. Obviously, you've got to take into consideration that a film is there to entertain, you know, it's not a documentary or anything. Um, and, you know, sometimes there are happy endings, sometimes there aren't in life, you know, but uh, as a way of highlighting sort of cultural idiosyncrasies, I think it's, it's done it quite well, you know, uh, from the type of dialogue, the dialogue that is in the film and the relationships between people and everything and the type of respect that one has for their elders and things like that. I think it's ticked all those boxes very well. It depends on the project as well. Like sometimes the project is all about just flipping the insanity switch and just being and taking everything to its sort of logical conclusion, you know. So you have a choice and then you push that to factor 10 and usually that's quite funny. I think it does it really well. I mean, I, I know I've got first-hand experiences of pride and Asian pride. I mean, it's slowly being diluted now through each generation, but uh, um, I think it's still there. And what's good about this script is that um, it kind of pushes the sentiment that, you know, as long as your kids are happy and as long as uh, you're in pursuit of, you know, the well-being of your family and, and the happiness of your family. It's the thing that brings everybody on the same table, you know. Uh, and. I, I lo yeah, I do like that aspect of the film because within, you know, uh, within you know my upbringing as well, it's just been something that's been very prevalent throughout. You know, just getting relatives over and mum making a massive dish, and then we all just sort of chow down. You know, uh, and that's that gives the this it gives the story a sense of like. I don't know, it makes it a really hearty, hearty story, you know, it puts a smile on your face. The, the, the want and desire for your, your children and your relatives to be happy and, and content is, uh, sort of takes precedent over our insecurities and our, our, you know, our own egos and stuff like that. I think it's a really optimistic story and it's important just to pepper that in the world, you know, because it's a, it's a good message.